What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something to the M4 GTS that might be a bit controversial. I've seen quite a few F80s, F82s on Instagram, people changing the DRLs over to a yellow color to match like the CS style. I've also seen these on the G80s and G82s and on the G80s and G82s it looks really good but I'm not completely convinced that I like it on the F8X models. I did order these chips for the headlight modules a couple of weeks ago, and that's when I first started seeing all of these people changing out their DRLs to yellow. Thought it was cool, something different, a little bit more unique, but now that I've seen more and more of them, I don't, I don't know if I'm convinced that these actually look good. This is basically like a better alternative to using yellow tint on your headlights. When you use the yellow tint, obviously it changes everything within the headlight to yellow, but when you use these, only the DRL turns to yellow. They also have these available in like RGB, so you can change all the colors. You can do red, blue, orange. I'll have them linked down below. I actually got these on AliExpress of all places. But in addition to these, I actually bought a new set of headlight modules for my F82. That way I wouldn't be taking apart the original headlight modules in order to change them out to yellow. And if I wanted to switch back and forth, it would be as easy as just swapping the headlight modules. Also you guys, quick before we get into today's video, Keys Motorsports is giving away the staple 335. The blue 335 that he built up from years ago on that channel, it has so much work done to it. He's gonna be giving that away. Every dollar spent at keysmotorsports.com will get you one entry towards winning that 335. I'm gonna have a link down in the description to where you guys can go ahead and enter and shop at keysmotorsports.com. Make sure you guys check that out. I'm definitely gonna try and win it. Win Brian's old 335 and just completely redo the entire thing. That would be hilarious. Make sure you guys check out the link down below for your chance to win the Keys Motorsports 335. Let's get back in the video. All right, you guys. So here are the actual chips that arrive from China via AliExpress. I think these were like 140 bucks, I want to say, for the chips. And literally all these are doing is replacing the chips already in your headlight modules and turning them to yellow. So like I said, they also have them for like RGB where you can like change the colors, kind of like the setup that I had on the 135 or you can pick individual colors like blue, green, red, whatever. So I just grabbed the yellow ones because I figured that would really be like the only color if I even end up liking these that I would run. And then furthermore, I ended up ordering two brand new headlight modules with the chips from BMW for my local dealership. I'll leave the part numbers for these down below in case you need them. And I'll also link the AliExpress stuff down below as well. But these are just gonna be the normal white headlight modules. And actually it's not bad to have an extra set even if I don't stick with these because some of the F80 and F82 Icon headlight modules, they seem to turn yellow over time, and this is the part that you would end up swapping out in order to fix that. So now I have an extra backup set, even if I don't like the yellow, because then if I don't like it, it's as easy as just swapping back and forth, or if I do sort of like it and I wanna run it in the future, again, it's just easy to swap back and forth. So I personally recommend just getting a new set of headlight modules if you want to. That way you're not messing around with your old stuff, and it's just easy to swap back and forth between colors. So big shout out to my buddy, F80 Ho, you guys might know him on YouTube and Instagram. He has a black F80 that looks super, super good. It's all murdered out. And I think that the yellow suits his car really well because of the fact that the whole thing is just murdered out. It's like yellow and black goes really good together. I don't know if I'm convinced that it's gonna look good on my car though. I feel like the Alpine white and yellow isn't like the best combination, but more specifically, I think that these modules in general, these chips look really good on the G8X cars. But in my opinion, they look a little out of place on the F8X cars. The idea of doing the yellow is to sort of replicate the CS model cars. I think that you could definitely make them look good depending on what style of build you have, but I'm not quite convinced that they're gonna look good if you just slap them on an Alpine white GTS. So let me be the guinea pig today so you don't have to spend $140 on these chips. Nonetheless, let me show you guys how we're gonna go about doing this. It's actually pretty easy. Not a bad day to have a couple of fantastic cars just hanging out next to each other. Wonder is coming along as you guys have been seeing. Almost got all the stuff for the battery. I got my battery. I'm just waiting on the uh, terminal cables and whatnot, but this project is gonna be developing as well. And of course, here is my beautiful GTS. So in order to get to the headlight module, obviously we're gonna open up the hood. Headlight module left right here. 
and thy module right, right here. Got a couple of Torx bolts, what are these T20s it looks like. You take those three out and then you can pull the entire headlight module out with the chips. And then I'll show you guys how to swap over the new chips. So you're gonna use a T20 in order to get the module out. On the back of the module, there's gonna be two plugs that you guys need to undo. Um, they go into each chip. Pull out. Do this side, pop down, pull out. So before I actually put in the yellow ones, I'm going to throw in the other brand new module and see if they're any more white than my current modules because these do have a tendency to yellow a little bit. And I wanna see if there's any difference in these, in which case I would just take apart my other modules and I wouldn't mess with these ones. Dude, they definitely look whiter. It's tough to tell on camera. These new ones are definitely whiter than my old ones. My old ones have like a faint hint of yellow to them. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep my new modules intact and not mess with them. And I'll take my old modules and those are the ones that we'll actually use to put in the yellow pieces. So these are the new ones, super white old ones. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are just a little bit more yellow. Good thing we tested that. So we'll go ahead and take our old modules and swap those out with the new yellow chips. So if you are going to go the route of buying new modules, I suggest checking and comparing your new modules against your old modules and see which ones are brighter. More than likely, the new ones are gonna be a lot brighter and more on the white side. So maybe those are the ones that you wanna keep as your white versions. That way you have a fresh new set of white modules and you can now take apart the ones that are yellowing a little bit or just look like they're burning out. So this is actually one of the new modules that's gonna be white. I have the other new module in the car right now. These are the old ones. And so if you look at our new chips here, they are identical to these. I think you guys know what's gonna happen. We're simply just replacing our old chips with the new ones. So the way to get these off is we're gonna use a very, very thin, either flat head or paint scraper and a hammer. And we're gonna pop the adhesive off from behind here. And then to reapply the new ones, we're gonna use a little bit of JB Weld and let this cure until it's nice and hardened. Now I'm not an electrician, I don't build computers or anything, but some people say that you need to use like a thermal paste to make sure that the uh, glue doesn't fail over time. However, I have used JB Weld in quite a few situations and it's incredibly strong. So I have a hard time believing that this is actually gonna fail, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. At the end of the day, we can always just reapply the glue and it's not that big of a deal. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and separate these chips from this module and then we'll go ahead and glue the new ones on. There we go, there's our first one. You can see the old adhesive on there. So I was literally just hitting it right where I could see the adhesive on the edges right here and it just cracked right off, so. This stuff is like really soft, the adhesive that they use. And now we'll use a little bit of our sandpaper to finish it off here. And then I'll spray with a little bit of isopropyl, just to get it nice and clean. Thing is pretty clean. So the new ones are going to go in like this and like this go ahead and apply our JB Weld. These two are on this module, and they say that this needs to set for about four hours. So we're gonna let this one set, but let's go ahead and quick knock out the other one.
So we're gonna let these suckers cure for about four hours. I've got another project that I've got to jump into. So these are just gonna chill for most of the day until we get some better sunlight for later and we can finish off the video. Nice little organization that I have going on here. What do you guys think about that? I had to do something, man. I had bolts and nuts all over the place. Now I know exactly where they are. I'm gonna take my old chips here and keep them just in case something happens someday where I need them. However, I don't think I will, but this is kind of nice. You know, it's like we're getting an option to go yellow and then we're also getting brand new white modules, which is fantastic. All right, so we are gonna let these set and cure for about four to six hours before we can actually install them in the car and check them out. But that'll be good because the sun will go down and we'll have a little bit better lighting anyway. So I'll see you guys in four to six hours. All right, it has been exactly four hours and this looks like it has sealed. So let's go ahead and swap these into the car, see what they look like. All right, you guys know the drill. Three, two, one. Oh man, unfortunately I'm looking on the camera and it's not nearly as yellow as what they are in person. It's, they are super yellow, like lemon, lemon yellow. What? <laughs> they look pretty good, man, I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty freaking sick. Damn, dude, that's kind of crazy. I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you about it? It's super yellow, like the purest lemon yellow that you can imagine. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's cool, but I'm afraid that I think it's cool just because it's different than what the white is. I think I gotta live with it for a couple of weeks and see if I like it. It's definitely different. Like, it, it screams BMW Motorsport, but it also screams a little bit aftermarket. Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm, in the, uh, I'm in the middle on this one. I don't really know if I like it or not. Like, I think that I just like it right off the bat because it's so different and I'm not used to it but I feel like after a while, I might not be into it. Comment down below, man. Tell me if this is something that you're gonna go for, if you even like it. I can turn on the regular lights, the projectors as well, so you can see it with those. I think that that changes it quite a bit. So this is with the projectors. Well, like the yellow and the white, that looks pretty dope. Damn, it's wild looking, man. Like they're so yellow. You really can't tell on camera. It's not nearly as yellow on camera as it is on person. Let's see what the cautions look like, huh? I think this is the part where it's gonna look really weird because you have like orange and yellow and you can really see the difference in the tone and the color with the orange and the yellow. That's wild, man. I don't know, guys, this one's a tough one. Usually I know right away whether I like something or not, but I feel like I need to sit with this one for a little bit to see if it's really something that I could live with for long term. It's definitely cool because it's different, and I think that that's why I like it so much off the bat, but I'm not sure it's gonna be something that I want to keep on the car. I think if you had a darker car, it would look better. That's why I think it looks really good on Viet Ho's car, but on mine, I feel like it just looks a little bit weird. Like, it looks a little out of place. I don't I don't know. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. You have comment down below. Tell me what you think, man. Is this rice? Is it nice? Should I keep it on? Should I take it off? Nonetheless, it's a pretty cool little DIY. And at the end of the day, we have a fresh set of brand new white DRL. So when we switch back to white, they're gonna be like brand new. Anyways, guys, lots of good videos coming up, especially on the 135. We've got a ton of work to do on this car, but it's gonna be good. But I appreciate you guys for tagging along and watching the video. See you in the next one.